Hi, we are back again, me and my buddy Cal, and we are here to show you an easy way to do not so messy play at home. The first thing that you're gonna wanna have is a big box. This is like an under the bed storage container. They're about $5 at Walmart if you wanna buy one. Um, I use these for everything. We put water beads inside, we'll fill it with shredded paper. Sometimes I even hide puzzle pieces in here with some noodles and they can hunt for all of the puzzle pieces. They're really, really great sensory boxes. And if it's a sensory box that your kids love playing with, just put the lid on it, put it in a closet, pull it out every day. Um, this one is empty because we are ready for a new sensory game, which is messy play. I brought some farm animals. You can use any animals you have, even cars and truck toys, dinosaurs, anything you have at home. I want you to pull out some animals and tell them what you found. A baby cow. Okay, add it to the box. What else did you find? A, mo a mommy cow. All right. Baby horse. Horse. Baby horse. All right. This one fell in my lap. It's a little baby sheep. We're going to add that one to the box, too. I'm going to add a couple more so that we've got lots of animals in the box. We've got sheep. Mm-hmm. There's a little baby horse. A foal. How about pigs? Do you have any pigs in there? Uh, no. Okay, there's a mommy and a baby. There you go. Mommy's going to be. And this is when it gets a little messy. I'm gonna use shaving cream and we're gonna cover these animals with shaving cream. I love Can shaving I cream. It? It's such a weird sensation in their hands. And so this is a really great sensory sensory experience. Can I'm gonna do the first bit and then you can add some more later, okay? I'm just gonna put it right on top of the animals. There we go. Look at that. Oh, the cows are gonna get some. Not the horses. Yes. <laughs> Yes, they're all getting some. Now for your kids who just want to squish this in their hands, that's great. This is a really great sensory experience. For Cal, I thought he might have fun washing off the animals. So I brought a little cup of water and then I brought him two tools. I brought a little eyedropper that's gonna use those squeezy pinching fingers. And I also brought a syringe. So this one we can slurp up the water and squeeze it out. <laughs> so Cal is gonna use these tools with the cup of water and see if he can clean the animals. Now the really great thing about this messy play tray is that when you're all done, you can literally just take this, dump all the extra gooey stuff in the sink, if it's like watery with like, I imagine ours is gonna be. And then the toys, dump the whole thing into the top rack of your dishwasher. And you can just run your dishwasher and it will wash off all the toys. Even this big bin can go in the dishwasher. And then the toys come out, they're clean, they're dry. Everything is ready to go back into your playroom, back into your toy boxes. And it's like the messiness never happened. So remind your kiddos to keep the mess in the box, right? and then you are good to go. All right, Cal, let's see what you're gonna do first. He's going for the syringe. Messy play is really, really great developmentally for these little guys. It helps them to explore their world and have a creative outlet for getting messy since we don't always allow that as moms in the house. Oh, good job. He's using really great fine motor control as he uses that syringe so that he can aim where the water goes. Great job. So we're gonna keep playing with this messy box. We're gonna dump it in the dishwasher when we're all done. I hope that this gives you some ideas of ways that you can incorporate messy play into your house without getting too messy. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.